capybaras. Hello, friends. Today, we are going to learn all about a cool animal called a capybara. You can read along with us by downloading this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What is a capybara? Capybaras are the largest rodents in the world and have physical characteristics that help them live in wet habitats. They have short brown fur that helps them blend into their environment and stay warm. Their eyes, ears, and nose are high on their heads so that they can see, hear, and breathe while swimming. Capybaras also have webbed feet, which make them excellent swimmers and allow them to escape predators. These large rodents live in groups called herds, which can have 10 to 40 members. Living in a herd keeps them safe because they can warn each other about predators, like jaguars and caimans. A dominant male leads the group and protects the other members. Capybaras are social animals and often groom each other to strengthen their bonds. The mothers take great care of their young, called pups. After birth, the pups can walk and swim within a few hours. They stay close to their mother, but also receive care from other females in the herd. This behavior, called alloparenting, means that many adult capybaras help raise the young, keeping them safe from danger. What do capybaras eat? Capybaras are herbivores, so they only eat plants. Their diet consists of mainly grasses, aquatic plants, and fruits. They have strong, sharp teeth called incisors that grow continuously and that allow them to chew tough plants. Capybaras also eat their own droppings. This process, called caprophagy, lets them digest food better and absorb more nutrients. Since capybaras do not hunt, they do not need to catch prey. Instead, they graze on land and in the water, using their sharp teeth to cut through thick plants. They spend a lot of time in the water, eating floating vegetation. During dry seasons, they sometimes travel long distances to find enough food to survive. Other interesting facts. Believe it or not, capybaras can sleep in the water. Like a floating log, they rest on the water by tucking their legs under their bodies. They keep their noses above the surface to breathe. Sleeping in the water keeps them hidden from predators while they slumber. These chill rodents also have a special symbiotic relationship with other animals. Many animals, such as birds and monkeys, like to sit on capybaras' backs. The cattle egret, for instance, is a bird that eats insects off the capybara's fur, keeping the rodent clean. Some animals even use capybaras as a lookout spot to watch for danger. Another unique fact about this semi-aquatic mammal is that they communicate using different sounds. They make purrs, whistles, barks, and clicks to talk to each other. A baby capybara might whistle to find its mother, while an adult may bark to warn the herd of danger. Their many sounds help them stay connected and safe in the wild. Why are they important to the environment? Capybaras play a vital role in their ecosystem. As herbivores, they help control plant growth by eating grasses and aquatic plants. This prevents certain plants from taking over wetlands. They are also a food source for predators, like jaguars, anacondas, and caiman, which maintains the balance in the food chain. The capybara is not endangered, but it does face some threats. People hunt capybaras for their meat and skin, and their wetland habitats are sometimes destroyed for farming or building. Luckily, these chill animals can adapt to different environments, and their population is growing in some areas. Protecting wetlands and forests helps capybaras and many other animals survive. We have just learned some cool facts about capybaras. Let's review. Question 1. Choose the word the author would say best describes the capybara. A. Nocturnal. B. Immobile. C. Spiny. D. Solitary. E. Social. If you said E. Social, you're right. Question 2. True or false? Capybaras are carnivores. False. They're herbivores. 
Question 3. What are two reasons why capybaras have webbed feet? To help them swim well and to escape from predators. Well done, capybara experts! If you enjoyed reading along with us today, remember to check out LearnBright.org for even more lesson plans. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at LearnBright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.